had just turned 17. Mona Patel remembers that day vividly on the campus of California Polytech. That was the day a drunk driver changed the trajectory of her life forever. I flew up 12 feet, across six feet. His car kept going and I landed back on his car and the second impact, he pinned me between his car and a metal railing. That's pretty much what smashed the, the lower leg and foot. Fast forward seven years and 21 surgeries later, Mona opted to have her leg amputated below the knee. I was at a crossroads and I looked for a support group, but I couldn't find one. Mona vowed that she would be the one to help others facing life after losing a limb. And for more than 25 years, she has kept her promise. After four failed knee replacements, I sought out a surgeon to remove it. No matter what, it changes your life. After meeting Mona, Stephanie Richardson knew she made the right decision. And Mona turned to me and she said, I never met anybody yet who opted to cut it off and regretted it later. So, you know, and it just changed everything for me. And that's what Mona does with her nonprofit, the San Antonio Amputee Foundation. As a licensed clinical social worker, she meets one on one before an amputation and after to show patients what their future can be. Just yesterday, I think I told three new amputees that you have to remember that your spirit, your love, your heart it did not live in that foot or that leg that was amputated. It's in here. She also sees the power of peer support groups and makes it okay to ask for help. Another key component when overcoming adversity, setting goals. We always have to be striving for something bigger and better. A major goal for Mona and several other amputees, climbing 19,340 feet to the top of Kilimanjaro. You can tackle and climb any summit you know, in, in your life. Her first question to me was, what mountain do you want to climb? A question we may all need to ask ourselves. I'm Nancy Alvarez reporting.